How's it going everyone? My name is Mr. Boss of the Wind. We are on the map Aftermath and this is a game of ground war domination. Uh, like I said in my commentary before, this is actually the game I played before that, but I wanted to show the one on Overflow first. Now, I'm using a vector with, I think, the uh, the fast mag attachment, and the vector has such a fast reload, and when you do the fast mag on it, it uh, you know it's so fast, and then uh, laser sight. Only problem with the vector, fast shooting submachine guns are really difficult. You gotta make sure that you get your shots on target, otherwise you're not gonna do too well. Little note about the gameplay, the score is, I mean, the score is good, it's not like anything out of this world, but I think I get like six or five flag caps. You can see I cap, um, you know, the first flag, and then I see that knucklehead laying prone, and I said, okay, you know what, no one's making an attempt to jump on B, it's going to be one of those games, let me hop on B. And that's what I did. So I'm using, uh, I'm only using uh, one perk for each slot, Dexterity, Toughness, and I think it was either Lightweight or Hardline. See how fast it reloads right there? That's what I'm talking about. And uh, I'm using a Stun Grenade and a Simtex. I probably should have used a EMP Grenade. I feel like there were a few Sentry Guns in this game I would have liked to take taken out. And <laughs> at first I didn't know how I was going to jump into this window, and I was like, there we go. Finally got up, and by the time I got up, all the guys down here were hanging out on the A flag, so I decided to go get my third flag cap in, uh, uh, what, about like two and a half minutes? So I uh, haven't really even seen one person, but three flag caps, I'll take it. Anyways, I'm using the B23R secondary, which is actually important. I know I knock a lot about uh, not having a secondary in a lot of my classes, but uh, in this game, it actually uh, saves my life a few times, so uh, it's really important that uh, I had those. So, one thing I really like about the Vector is, with a lot of the fast shooting submachine guns in this game, it has almost no recoil, which is really nice, because at a distance, it allows me to stay on target a little easier as compared to if I was using something like the PDW, or something along the lines like a chai -com. even though the chai is pretty nice for distance shooting because it is a three-burst weapon. So, uh, I think that's a good addition. But when you're playing on the map Overflow, my team didn't really have the patience to spawn trap. As you can see, we got one of our buddies back here in C. We've got guys back in A, and the enemy team is spawning, trying to take B. So throughout this entire game, I'm having to uh, you know, use my sense of the UAV, which is nice because the other team had pretty much, for the most part, not discovered ghosts. So having a UAV up once every like 45 seconds was really nice because... Like I said, my teammates did not know the idea that uh, having three flags in domination, while it is nice and while uh, you can see I actually make a push right here because we've got guys in C, you know, it makes the spawns really erratic, which is tough sometimes. And this, I, I think that's the last time I kill that riot shield guy. That guy always la makes me laugh because he's just standing there with a riot shield. And uh, I got really, well, unfortunate, if you go back and slow that down, my grenade hit the car, like, driver's side window or, uh, like, you know, whatever it's called like, yeah like the side rear view mirror whatever so anyways I picked up the kill uh, another AFK guy what's up with these AFK guys and then uh, I decide my teammates taking that flag so I might as well hop on it with him and I actually think I get really lucky here I think I get my veto warship and then end up dying which is uh, you know I would have been super mad if I didn't get it but like I said, I'm going to speed up a VTOL warship. You guys know what it's like. Aftermath, it's not the greatest map for the VTOL warship, but uh, it depends if you get them spawning outside. It's, it can actually be pretty all right. So in the second round, you can see we try to employ a, a, the same tactic. We spawn on the same side, and we end up taking A and B immediately. I noticed that the other team was kind of afraid to go towards the B flag, so this time I, I don't even think I hesitated uh, to go for B, but instead... Uh, but instead, I actually used it as an opportunity to go uh, get more points in a more efficient manner. Now, I actually like spawning on the C side because of that bathroom that I was in there right now. Because I feel like when you spawn on A side, you're always in a hole. Because none of the action really takes place behind here. But I feel like a lot on the A side, like there's a lot of action in the A spawn that you can still you know, have a good bit of action with. I know uh, I stunned myself right here. And uh, I thought I was going to actually end up dying, but the round is almost over, so when the round is coming to an end, I tend to be less aggressive and try to pick up maybe one or two more kills or try to get an assist or shoot down something uh, just so I can be ready for the next round. I have a few points off the start, and uh, 
that's what I did right there. I picked up that 100 points, and instead of trying to go into the battle and fight someone, I uh, you know just backed out, got my 100 points, and said, see you later. So again, with the start of every domination round, I always capped A, but I take a little bit of a different approach on this side. I go up into this bathroom because I knew that's the route I took in the first round, and I'm like, okay, I know there's going to be someone up here. I know that there's going to be someone, and there he is. I just happen to beat him to the punch because I have lightweight. That is the power of lightweight when running domination rounds. Domination is all about, you know, getting that first flanking pattern off and as you can see pick up another guy here and end up capping the B flag as well. And just because of that, I got my lightning strike and my UAV. And the lightning strike's pretty high up there on the score streak list, so that's no cupcake uh, score streak that you can just like get with a flag cap and a kill. So uh, it's one of those that you kind of actually have to work for and get really fortunate right there that I was hiding behind that column and he happened to walk by and I think that was due to my headset I had my head when I'm not playing with teammates or friends I have my headset cranked up really loud and I actually saw this really funny video from prank versus prank if you don't know who they are they're like this YouTube couple who do pranks on each other and um, I think one of the pranks it's like the the female I, I forgot her name in the couple but she lights firecrackers off underneath uh, her boyfriend playing video games and he jumps out of his chair and I'm always afraid that that's something like that's gonna happen with me because I've got my headset cranked up so loud uh, when I play these video games that uh, if someone was trying to break into my house I probably wouldn't hear it but you need to in black ops because the lack of uh, lack of footsteps but luckily there I was able to uh, to do that and uh, I was able to get the kill so I get quick scoped right here, and you can see my score is like 44 and 6 right now. 44 and 6, and I think I've got like 4 or 5 flag caps, and uh, we, we lose B right now, which is understandable because we've actually capped A, B, and C, and now they're just spawning all over the place. But I take that opportunity to come right back and jump on the flag. So at this point, the game is pretty much over. Uh, it's like 187 or 188 right now to like 71, and we've got all three flags. So anyways, I thought this was a really complete domination game. I felt like I did uh, some Slayer, and right here I get hard scoped. And uh, I don't really know what to think about that other than that guy was aimed down there for quite some time. But I thought this was a complete game of domination because I, uh, I was a little selfish, got my big score streaks, but I also played a big part in this game, jumping on a lot of flags. So I think that's how domination should be played. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like these gameplay commentaries, I know, old school, right? You know, leave a like, I would really appreciate it. But other than that, have a nice day, and I will see you guys in the next video.